Hi, I'm Mike Coons. I'm Extension Forestry Specialist at Utah State University. I do a lot of tree pruning and shrub pruning. I also teach it quite a bit. And uh, here we have a case of a multi-stem tree. There are trees that are meant to be multi-stemmed that are grown that way in the nursery. An example would be birches, for example. Some birches are grown multi-stemmed. Uh, it's an aesthetic thing more than it is biological, but um, they're grown that way. Uh, this one is a ginkgo. It probably was not grown to be a multi-stem tree. They're usually not, but this one has three main stems, and you could choose to leave it this way, or you could prune out two of the stems, leaving one, which would give you a more classic ginkgo look. This is, we've looked at this, and this is the strongest uh, trunk on this one, so it's probably the one we would leave. Uh, I'll point out here, if you were going to leave all this, you'd at least want to remove this branch. I'll take it off. Um, because it was rubbing against the trunk, uh, and there's other branches higher up you might want to remove as well. Um, but if you were going to take it down to one stem, then you would remove this stem here, and it's pressing up against the trunk. It would be hard to remove without damaging the trunk you're leaving, so you'd probably make a cut from here, just sloping down, where the two trunks press together. And it's going to leave something of a stub, but that's unavoidable. The next branch then to remove, or the next trunk to remove, is this one on the right. Uh, but we know this one's on the left is better. And again, uh, we have here what's called included bark, and that's where the two stems have pressed together probably ever since they diverged way down here. It's knitted together here. It's just a wound that's closed. There it's just in the process of closing, and here it's really an open seam where bark is pressed against bark, and it tends to rub together and kind of cause pressure in this area and you can actually get dieback occurring. Um, but the proper cut here would be again from as far down as you can get sloping down like this. Not sloping way down but maybe at about a 45 degree angle and you're going to make your, you'd remove most of the weight of this with a couple of cuts higher up and then you'd make that final cut and you're going to have to cut up into the crotch because you're not going to be able to get a saw in there. Um, and it will leave a stub. And it's going to heal kind of oddly, but that's unavoidable. You don't want to cut down here where you're going to cut into the trunk you're leaving.